My name is Eric Liu, and I'm the product manager for Rocket uh, for audio products. In order to achieve good quality, you have to first know what good quality sound is. People like to talk about frequency charts, and people like to also talk about the THD numbers, but for me, actually, I think those are just for good reference. But I think in the end, the most important thing is your ears. So the drivers are very important, but we also spend a lot of time meticulously tuning the acoustic chamber to make sure that the sound is the best it can be. We also received this third-party certificate from hi res which meant that the third party also recognized the sound was very great, and we're all very proud of it. So this is actually getting really well reviewed. People really like the sound, and it also helps, you know, definitely for gaming and also using for other applications. It's a perfect all-around headset. I feel like a lot of the competitive gaming headsets, uh, they focus a lot about the booming bass and then, you know, they really neglect uh, about the high end and the clarity of the sound. But actually for gamers, the, the clarity of sound maybe is just as important as the booming bass. It impacts also uh, when you hear footsteps, it impacts how you hear the communications, and how you, um, you localize the sounds and also pinpoint uh, enemies. And I actually had an experience where one of our reviewers for the, the Con Pro told me that, hey, uh, I was playing this PUBG game and I used your Con Pro and it helped me a lot because there was this scenario when there was a car coming over to run over me and I could hear it very clearly and I knew where to turn, where to run and get away. Uh, he felt like if it was a, a different headset, he probably would not hear the sound and probably would got run over by the car. So he felt like it was actually already an advantage for him to use this Con Pro. So I think one of the big features uh, was the microphone. I feel like in gaming headsets, there are a lot of problems from uh, competitive headsets that uh, the sound was very tinny, people felt like it was very nasally, it sounded like something's covered over your mouth, blah, blah, blah. And then people felt like it was not your own sound, so people complained a lot. A lot of competitors did not really listen to this. And I really looked into what problem was with their microphones. So I did some studying and I found out, you know, the problem and I tried to fix this uh, with this Con Pro. And this actually was a microphone component that I handpicked very clear, closely, uh, took a lot of samples and then found this one that's the perfect one that I felt was the right sound uh, for everybody. So I, a lot of people love it. How convenient it is that you actually have this auto mute when you move the boom up, move the boom down, you can hear the sound. Uh, that means it's muted or it's unmuted. And actually when we did our beta testing and we talked with a lot of people, a lot of people really love this feature. And I think this is something that we, you know, we believe that's uh, very useful for gamers, especially very quickly you can use it. For me, when I wear a headset, I think it should basically disappear. So when you wear it on your head, it should feel like it's kind of like it's not there at all. So, so you can focus on your game and then you can you know, make sure that uh, there's no pressing on the head, there's no pressing on the sides, it should basically disappear. That's what I achieved here in the Con Pro and I believe this is one of the strengths of the Con Pro. In order to create stability, it first has to start first with the high-end components. So we use a lot of high-end components in, in this headset. Uh, we also used, uh, you know, had a lot of high-quality uh, engineering with this, so we worked um, you know, a long time with our engineering team to make sure that this product uh, is, is the most robust and the most um, stable product. The size of the headset doesn't look so big, but actually we designed it ergonomically with a 6x4 diameter to make sure that this fits almost everybody's ears. So it looks small, but it actually wears big. Can't tell you too much, but there's definitely a lot of great audio products that we're working on currently. I'm pretty sure you'll find out very soon, and those will push the standards even higher.